lot of ways to see New York City, but today I'm gonna see it at about 15 miles an hour on the seat of my bicycle. Let's go. We have 425 miles of bike lanes, and to take the entire city in at 10 miles an hour, chilled out, stopping, seeing the different locations throughout the city, it's basically the way to see New York City. We have left the west side, we are now heading east across Manhattan and we're riding by all sorts of beautiful old brownstones and tall buildings and there is a lot of life on the streets of New York City. I have found my favorite spot here in New York City and it's called Central Park. Central Park really is the place to come if you want to escape the mayhem of the city, go for a nice walk, jump on your bike, play with your friends, lay in the sun. This is the spot right here, I'm enjoying this. That thing right there is the obelisk, also known as Cleopatra's Needle. Our tour guide is really good. We're stopping every now and then and he tells us about everything, fills us in, and then we jump on our bikes and we keep on going. There's some hills in Central Park. Whee! We have just gotten off our bikes for the final stop here at Central Park. It's the Strawberry Fields, the memorial to my buddy, John Lennon. Let's go. If you're a massive Beatles fan, Strawberry Fields has to be the, uh, the place to go. It's certainly a uh, pretty part of the park. My legs have done their job today. They have pedaled me all around beautiful Upper Manhattan Central Park and the West Side Highway. I can't imagine a better way to see New York City than on the seat of a bicycle.